Hello, welcome back to another soul writing video. So, it's actually update day as I'm doing this. I did say that I was going to re-record, but <laughs> I kind of missed yesterday. Or whatever day it was. I don't know. There's going to be a video every day. I'm now on track. But anyway, I hope you guys are well and happy. I actually wanted to start today's soul writing by, obviously we're taking out Luna Beauty, Luna Twilight. I keep getting my names confused. We will just put all of you away. Um... Yeah, I was actually just going to start by saying I've been watching a lot of, like, theory videos in Star Stable and a lot of, like, what I want to see in Star Stable. So if you have any ideas, that's today's thing, is what do you guys want to see in Star Stable? I really want them to add, like, a pet slot here so you can have, um, kind of your horses and then you can almost put, like, a pet here and it just kind of runs around inside because I realised that as we're getting magic pets now, I think we have four, don't we? Yeah, we have the fox, the cat, and the two manta, panda rays, panda rays, or whatever they're called. Yeah, I really want to have the ability to kind of put them in your stable with a certain horse, because I like to do that. I like to give my horses certain pets, and it's really annoying when I can't do that. Someone is slamming their doors. I do apologise. But yeah, that was just a small little thing that I just, you know, just a small little thing. Also, maybe like customizable stables. I think that's going to be quite a while, if that ever did come to fruition, but a boy can dream. And then anyway, oh, we have quests. Oh, we're really far behind on this. I definitely think I need to do this afterwards. I'm gonna actually look up all the stuff we need, write a giant list, and then probably in tomorrow's video, we'll start that. But part of the apprentice part four. The druids here in Veildale make me feel so welcome, but there's so much that goes on here that I don't understand. If there's anything I can do to help keep Yorvik safe, uh, I hope they know they can count on my support. Uh, just as I can count on your support for helping me out of the workshop. You've come so far, Alexis. I have. I really, really have. I've added additional recipes so you can craft gear. Uh, the design came from my grandmother. Okay. Excellent surprise. I haven't heard a hoot from Toby in a while. I hope she's okay. I thought Toby was a boy. Probably shouldn't have presumed. That's my bad. Uh, let's go check. Okay. Then I try that. What are we doing? Um, I forgot what I named this fox. I have it on my Instagram. Okay, while we follow, I'm just gonna uh, look at my own Instagram. This is why I have Instagram. Just so, if I ever forget anything, I can look. Oh, we're going this way. Whoops. Yeah, if I ever forget anything, I can look and go, oh yeah, that's what I named this pet. A pet namer, that would be the other thing. I just want more improvements to the pets, I think. Um, what am I even looking for? Hoot, tee hoot, hoot hoot. Wait, 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 bear with one second. What did I name you? Blaze, I named him Blaze. There we go. Yeah, I really wish they had that. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to this, hoot hoot. What's wrong, Toby? Who? <gasps> oh my god, is that baby? Cheep, cheep, cheep. Toby, you've crafted the most wonderful thing of all. A baby. Yeah, crafted. Congratulations, Toby. It's going to be pretty crowded around the workshop with the fledglings growing up. Will there be enough mice to go around? Hoo-hoo. hoo do? I love owls. Like, I love them. Uh, that's a great idea. Toby says that when the baby is grown up, perhaps... Uh, you could give it a home, Alexis. Of course. <laughs> That's like a stupid question. Um, it will be a while before the fledgling is able to leave the nest. Until then, keep crafting and help the workshop grow. <laughs> gotcha! Alright, I really actually like these quests. I like, I just, again, I'm someone who really, really likes the pets and would like to see a lot of improvements. So, okay, let's just select all these and let's take a little picture. So, yeah, you, let me know what you guys would like to see improved. Should we have a quick look at these? Yeah, like I said, I need to come through and make this stuff because it does give us the experience. And I have been collecting now and I get horse boots. Ooh, fun. Oh, those stupid things. Yeah, I collected a little bit um, as I was kind of waiting, but I didn't really do much. I won't lie. Anyway, we need netting. Netting, perfect. Oh, we also need more netting and a brush. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Please, so cute. Yeah, so I would like to see a pet namer. I think that would be really cool. 
Uh, a place that you could kind of put your pet in the saddle, in the saddle, in the stable with a horse that you've gotten out. I missed the ability to keep the pets on the horse because I really like that. What do we need? A brush. Because, again, I give horses pets. Like, I think one of my horse, one of my Connemara's, Berry Wish, she has, uh, I think it's Abby's Teddy or something. And, yeah, I kind of used the story that she's a little shy and timid and the only way that she will, you know, be nice and confident is if she has a teddy and a saddlebag. And, I mean, it's easy to kind of do it, but once you get, like, a lot of pets and you have a lot of horses with, um... Who are we going to? Oh, Mond. Yeah, when you get a lot of horses and you have a lot of kind of like, kind of small, oh, my camera goes, small pieces of story or you have items that are like are associated, it does get very confusing. And I also don't want to keep horse, uh, saddles on my horse just because I think that would be really uncomfortable. Again, I'm not really into like the role play stuff. But I think there's certain things that I'm like, Oh yeah, you know, when the horse is at back of the stable or in the paddock, I don't want them to be, like, in gear. I'd rather them just have, you know, nothing. So, yeah, it seems a lot more comfortable. And then they know that when they we tack up, we know that we're going out. You know, that type of thing. Like, I like some type of story lore in my own imaginary world. But what do you guys actually... Yeah, do you guys do any, like, things like that? Or am I just really weird? I just know. It just adds something small to it. But yeah, that... What else would I like? I would like to see an improved stable, I think because I'm getting to the point where I have too many magic horses out and I don't want to have to like pick my favorite magic horse because they're all my favorite because I'm a sucker for the magic horses. Who else are we going to? Jonas. Yeah, I'm a sucker for the magic horses. So I kind of, you know, want them all out. It's so maybe an improvement with that. Or maybe have like, yeah, a second stable that you can have, an extension almost. Hmm, that would be kind of cool. I don't know. There was, I was watching this one video and I honestly can't remember her name and I feel really, really bad, so I do apologize. Uh, yeah, um, what other improvements? Hmm, I don't really know. There was something that I was thinking about on the top of my head, off, off the top of my head, but now I just, this is what my brain happens. I did actually go for a 20 minute nap before this. Where am I going? South. And yeah, I was like, I won't fall asleep. I fell asleep for like 20 minutes and it was not great. I, there's just something with me and 20 minute nap, 20 minute naps. It just takes it out of me. I feel like I need to sleep for like eight hours. That's my nap. An eight hour nap. Anything below that is just not satisfactory. Okay. Yay, we did it. Right, let's go do Sol Redding. Oh, hey, person. Uh, I still don't know what these rings are for. I, I have zero ideas. So, we're just going to have to keep those now. Oh, we can call for pickup because it's my home stable. Gotcha. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll probably... Well, what I'll do at the end is I'll go through and look at all the items that we need and work out roughly how much stuff we are going to need. We're going to need a whole heap. But yeah, it'll be quite a nice challenge. And then I think I kind of, oh, I'm actually wearing, oh, which one am I wearing? I'm wearing the Starry Bridal Bosal. Yeah. I think, yeah, we'll work on that in tomorrow's episode or maybe the day after, depending. And again, we're just working away on the projects that we need to complete. And it's just kind of, one of those things where I feel like I just have so much to do. Also, I don't know if anything is coming out, but like I have a feeling that something might be coming soon, maybe for like Halloween or Christmas. So I really, really don't want to um, be really behind with a bunch of stuff and then kind of be overwhelmed because I mean, the Christmas and stuff, the Christmas and Halloween event stuff will be limited times. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's one of those things. We'll figure it out. But how are you guys doing anyway? I hope you are all well, keeping safe and keeping busy. Um, yeah, I haven't really done much. I kind of just did the update today, and then I did some editing. And 
Oh, I'd have to oh, I just, I really want to share this idea with you just because I really want to see if it's something you guys would want to see. I want to do a reaction video to my old videos because, oh, it's going to be so cringy. But yeah, I'm going too fast. Luna Twilight, slow down. Yeah, I think it'll be so funny to see myself because I'm a pretty strange person and, you know, when you look back at yourself through old videos, you just do kind of just cringe at yourself and I, I really want to do it because I think it'd be really, really fun. But I also don't want to do it because I don't want to go put myself through that pain. Does that make sense? So, yeah, I think that'd be quite fun. But, yeah, I mean, that's kind of it. I've just been itching to play so many games, but I'm also kind of not behind on my schedule because I don't really have a schedule, but it's more of like a personal schedule where I try and at least get a video out a day. And obviously soul writing has kind of taken over that a little bit. But I'm enjoying it. That's the main thing. That's all that, you know, we're going to get it done at some point. And one of you guys did say, I'll put the comment on the screen, uh, that you got the room runner horse and then sold it. Why? Why did you do that? I mean, it's your horse, you can do whatever you want, but why did you do that? <laughs> you spent like 120 days, or give or take. Ugh. I would be so mad if I accidentally sold it. Plus you don't even get like star coins, or even that good of your shillings. But, yeah. I... Luna Twilight, what are we doing? We're just kind of chilling here. Hmm. But yeah, like I was saying, I was watching a lot of theory videos yesterday, and it's quite interesting to see um, people's theories. I think it's because... I, I don't want to say it's because I'm recording videos, but maybe it's because I'm recording videos. I kind of don't take in all the information, and, like, I still need to read the Star Stable book. I have about half of it left to read, but I think I'm going to do that at some point. Again, I just have so many things to do and it almost seems like there's no time in the day. But there really is because, you know, I'm locked down in my house. So, yeah, gotta be good. Right, Lunar Twilight. So, I think we're, after we get Lunar Twilight, we're gonna take out, is it Crimson Moon? I'm really bad with names. I'm terrible with names. And yeah, we're gonna level up my Magic Yovic Horses. Wait, are they Yovic Wilds? No, Magic Horses, right? Yeah. And, oh, I was watching theories on a new area, and I didn't realise the map of Jorvik was so big, and the map we have now is only, like, a quarter of the actual map. That is insane, if that all comes to the game at some point. It'll probably take years and years, but, I mean, if they can keep people entertained, I mean, why not? Also, the fact that Star Stable is nine this year, eight? I think it was the eighth birthday last year. That's soon, isn't it? October. October? I'm gonna have to check, but yeah, I think that's soon. Hopefully they do something good for that. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. The next like improvement thing I wanted. See, my brain just like is so random. The next kind of improvement I wanna see is now that we have the forageables in the game and we can craft items and um, tack and stuff. I would love to see them add the ability to enchant gear. Now I've said this many, many, many times, but I really want them to add like an enchanting thing. So maybe you have to use, I don't know, one of each of the forageables that you collect. What are there, six? Shh. Boom. Yeah, there's six of them. So like maybe you have to use one of each or two of each and you can enchant your gear to the top stats. So if you had a t-shirt that was, you know, zero, uh, zero riding, you could level it up to like eight, or you could use eight of those forageables to put it up to that, but it can't go over that, if that makes any sense. I think that would be a great way, save the horse, click willow, we're going to do one of the whistle I can talk, seven minutes. I think that'd be a great way to use old, uh, items because again, I now don't even bother when, um, like, I mean, there's a few things that have come out and I've gone, where am I even going south of? There's a few items that have come out and I've gone, oh, I've liked, I like that, but then it doesn't have stats. So I'm like, eh, what's the point? Because you're technically spending money and you're shillings on it. And why would you pay for stuff that's kind of 
worse than the stuff you've already got. So I think that should be the like next thing, especially because we have the forageables in the game now. Where am I? This way. Yeah, especially because we have the forageables in the game. So I don't know. I just think people would use the people would get so creative if it was one of the free t-shirts that they release or you know a uh, tack that's kind of used more at the beginning of the game and maybe you know you really like it everyone has a different style or there's a few um what are they uh <laughs> like i'm asking you what's going on in my brain the 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 the, 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 the like event clothes they're the worst ones because they never have stats but if they had stats i think a lot of more people would use it but then I'm thinking, would they start just releasing clothes without the stats? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe even if you can pay, like, I don't know. I don't know, like, eight star coins to, like, max it with some items or maybe five. Yeah, maybe five. And maybe they're, like, three sets, so it would never go over, like, the best item in the game as such. I don't know. I just really, really want that. Plus, I think, again, a lot more people would use a lot more tag. And I do, you do see a lot of people in the same type of items and clothing because they're the best stuff, of course. Why wouldn't people want the best stuff? So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys uh, think about that. Is that something you would like to see, especially because we have, like, the foraging thing? Or maybe, like, potion. No, you wouldn't really need potion. I'm just trying to think of, like, if there's any other ways that they could add the forageables because... I know in a lot of other MMOs, you kind of can build a career. I remember in Riders of Kyrus, which I'm so mad doesn't let me in the game anymore, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> I remember in that you could level up your armor crafting, your weapon crafting, your cooking, your familiar thingy, my blobby. I can't remember what it's called. Barter, I think. I don't know, whatever it was. But yeah, so I don't know. I just think that. Oh, and this person was talking about uses in, like, so, like, fishing. Like, you can't do fishing after the fishing reputation, I believe. And that, it's silly because, you know, you could use that, you could do that to kind of earn some Yorvik shillings. Or, um, what was the other thing? Archaeology. Like, after you finish that, it's kind of just, eh. I still haven't done that either. <laughs> I'm so behind on everything. What else was there? Um... I kind of think that's it. No, come here. What else is there? What other, like, things in the game aren't really used after their initial kind of thing, you know? All right, we won't get a reward today. Return to Paddock. Oh, I did do uh, the... Blah, 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 the farm animals today just because I was searching for some forageables and they were there, so I was just like, eh, might as well. Right, let's head over to Steve's. But you guys did also say that I could um, do this afterwards. That's quite a good chunk of experience, which I'm very happy about. I really have no excuse not to train anymore, except for the fact that I'm extremely lazy and don't want to. But I have been good with like some things, so. Oh, wow. There's so many people here. Oh, you're on the wall. Oh, you're on the house. <laughs> I haven't been here in such a long time. Oh, that's another thing. With the forageables, I really like how it's making people kind of re-explore the area. Because, um, there we go. Because, yeah, you kind of only go to, like, certain locations. And if you're like me and you don't train, you just go to the areas that have had updates or new horses or anything like that. So you don't kind of, I don't know, just kind of run around for hours all. Oh. I have been having a few random lag spikes and I honestly, I really hope it's not me. But like, if it's me, I'm gonna be real mad. All right, come little pony. Come on, come on. But yeah, is there any other like videos you wanna see? I think I might try and do an all my horses video, except I updated my horses list today and I have 140 horses. 140, I didn't realize I went that bad. And also, you know, I wanted to do that video for my birthday. So, maybe I shouldn't do that. But, yeah. My grandma again asked me what I wanted for my birthday. And I was like, just give me some star coins so I can buy some horses. I said that to my mum as well. Just star coins. I don't need much. I just need all the virtual horses in the world. 
that will make me happy until the new ones come out and then I'll be sad that I can't get them. But then, you know, just have to buy more. I'm really bad. I'm really bad. With Ooh. I'm really bad with star points. And spending money. Good little pony. Also, I keep missing the Marari dance. Yay. Goodbye. Also, I, I think these two, the kind of Andalusian model, uh, is it Andalusian? I think it's Andalusian. The Andalusian style of the wilds are kind of the favorite. I've seen so many people on this server, especially. Oh, and as I get questions, I'm on the Pumpkin Meadow server. So, you know, if you see me, say hey. Uh, you'll know it's me because I have this badge. If it's anyone else who says it's me and they don't have a badge, it's not them. Just in case. I don't know, you just gotta be careful. Um, but anyway, I think we are going to end this video right here. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna quickly work out, not with you guys, but like, I'll just kind of thingy. Just to figure out how much of the stuff we need because if it's pretty quick, I might be able to go and do it. So, I've got my journal and a pen. Let's do some math. Okay, so, just did the math. I really hope I worked it out properly, but like, yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, okay, so we actually need 15, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see, but we need 15 pieces of jute, 27 moss, 87 flax, we need 12 rabia and 12 bee balm. So, <laughs> my goodness, where, I need to look up a map, like I really need to look up a map. Where is flax? Flax, it said sunny area, didn't it? The flower and plant grows in sunny areas. It's completely rose of the world. Oh. Okay, we're doing this. Okay, well, I think... Okay, let's go. I think we're going to end this episode right here. I'm going to work my hardest on this tonight. Um, after I edit this video and get this video up. But, yeah, I mean... Oh, jute. Nice. <laughs> Definitely need to call that. I think I need to look up a map, figure out where we're going. 15 pieces of jute. I need to, I'm gonna sort this out. So we have jute, then we have moss, then we'll have flax, what is that? Rabia, oh, rabia. Okay, we'll do it that way. Okay, so I mean, we have the jute. We still need some more moss, which I think is down in the hollow woods. Um, Flax, I think it's probably going to be the hardest one. Rabia. Hmm. Oh, we have just enough. So, like, if I can pick. I think that's up on, like, mountainy areas. Oh, this is a big project. Do I want to do this? Will I be up till 3 a.m.? Most probably. Do I want to be up till 3 a.m.? No. No, I really don't. But we got to do it for the owl. <laughs> We really got to do it for the owl. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. <sighs> Wish me luck on my big project. Um, if you guys done it, let me know. Oh, look, a piece of moss. <laughs> Yay. Oh, wait, is it moss? No, wait, that's chamomile, isn't it? What is that? Moss. Nice. I only need 10 more of those. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our adventures here on the channel and we'll be back tomorrow in soul riding, hopefully with this stuff, because we are needed. Um, but yeah, thank you guys and ooh, thank you guys and I will see you guys next time.